This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this?
Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent, a cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Both targets could have been shot from here. But no phosphorus trace. This is the right spot. So where did he go?
trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed when she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone <laughs> wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here, and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! Think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Now put up your hands! Don't move! Batman. What did you do to him? Don't move! I did what you couldn't. You're damn right! I'd never do something like this! I got what I needed. You have the right to remain silent. Gordon... I said silent! If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Shoot me. See what happens. I will. I swear to God, I will. You're making a mistake, Detective. You want to hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. Look, I did what, what you had to. But at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this... <laughs> preposterous attack on your family. 
You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave, You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce. But you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, Remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police, and that man by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This, this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. This isn't about politics. 
Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. It's a first step in the marathon to fix this city. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. Until we find nothing, though, I gotta play bad cop. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand, I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burnt powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Thank you. 
might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al.
Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Answers now. Will you fall? You wouldn't. <laughs> All right. All right. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to leave you here? <laughs> yeah. Something reeks about this old thing. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal, because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Ah. Gotham. Ah. Oh, oh, wait. What the hell are you? Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. It's... <clears throat> the Waynes... They're behind all this. What do you mean? You really... You really want to take that crime? Well, the Waynes... Uh, are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Him out. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was brutally wounded in the attack. Oh! Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time and speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings this brings me to the story everyone is talking about the wayne family for generations the big w on the wayne enterprises tower was a reassuring sight you knew that there was something pure at the heart of gotham that this city for all its faults was built by good people but with thomas and martha's shining reputation called into question we no longer have such assurances and even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The monster Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, 
we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Alfred!